in uh, different areas of the United States and in New Zealand. Jesse Ventura, under establishment attack, is our guest, and he's got the courage to continue to fight. We need to support him. We'll be back. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. I'm Alex Jones. And I've been demonized. I've been attacked a lot. I expect that doing this. I don't want to be a slave. But I would expect that others that believe in freedom would support me. And you've done that with all that you've done. We try to sell high-quality water filters to cut out the glyphosates and all the rest of it and the fluoride. We High-quality non-GMO seeds at great prices, shortwave radios, liberty-based apparel, pro-gun apparel, hunting, fishing supplies, high-quality portable non-GMO, storable foods, super high-quality vitamins, minerals, supplements, nutraceuticals, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com. We are selling out rapidly of Survival Shield Nason Iodine X2 that so many people are deficient in. That's the whole halogen conspiracy. Watch the video at InfoWarsLife.com. We have the liver shield that opens up your liver and detoxes it with concentrated known herbs. We have the advanced liver cleanse. You can see instructional videos about that at InfoWarsLife.com. And your purchase of all these products funds this organization that is one of the only truly independent, nonpartisan, libertarian-based Americana organizations in the world. And we're a platform to promote and defend everybody else that's fighting for freedom and who is decent and honorable and who will stand up. And believe me, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, folks. I've been told by high-level people years ago that your show's going to explode because what you're saying is dead on. Get ready. It's going to be bad. And the elites are running for the hills. Jesse Ventura is with us five minutes into the next hour. We appreciate his time. He'll be back with us next week, hopefully, to launch that fundraiser, not for him, but for all of us. Uh, now that he has 33 companies lined up against him uh, d doing this. But but getting into the elites, it's been a London Guardian, New York Times, running to New Zealand, buying safe houses, buying armored redoubts. You did a TV show on the uh, facility up in the Ozarks. Uh, what are they gearing up for? Ron Paul talking about stock market day of reckoning coming, uh, banker bailouts in Europe. Wh where is all this going, Governor? I, I, you know, it, it's it's mind blowing, Alex, because there's also the rumor: get away from the coast and get to the high ground. You know, I've heard that one now that that that, that ultimately Denver could become the capital of America. I don't know. You it know, is the alternate capital too. under COG. You're correct. It, it's already the alternate capital. Yeah, and, and so so what are they telling us? Something's going to happen down at o at the ocean level that is going to devastate and destroy everything there, and the only way to survive is to be up in the high country? I don't know. They are you acting know, like they don't care about anything anymore. I, it, it, it's 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 real. It's interesting. It'll keep you thinking and uh, and wake you up. Uh, I have to beg off a little, Alex, because I've been so entrenched in my own mess with this that it's very difficult for me to uh, focus on the otherworldly stuff right now and, and what's going on. So I apologize for that. Well, I'm going to say this I, then. I, I I'm going to interrupt. This. If Ron Paul is scared, there's reason to be afraid. If Ron Paul is scared, there's reason to be afraid. I'll say this. They've tried to destroy your name. They haven't con uh, succeeded completely. You've gotten a lot of it back, clearly. You've, you've won with the jury, even if they overturn it, which we should fight. You still won with the people. They just engaged in fraud. But they're trying to keep you diverted so you don't run for president. I think the way you really get at them is do what they're afraid of. Well, okay, first thing is, though, I don't want to run too soon because it costs too much money then. And, and I want to do it when they get the pikers out. Get rid of the pikers. Get it when it's down to two. Which would the libertarian? It'd be perfect. That's June of next year, and then that then you time it out, Alex. June to November. You don't. That's how you do it. It's that simple. Your timing has to be correct. If you get in too soon, you'll you'll blow your wad too soon, and the, and you'll give them too much of a chance to destroy you. You got to have the perfect timing that leads up to that November election. And it's a, it's a window in there of about two to three months, four months. I want to hear more about this. We're enough. back. I don't need to go get name recognition. So it can be done that way, Alex. We don't need to move on presidential shit. 70 seconds. We're back. I want to hear more about this. 70 seconds. In race war, I said that yesterday. I want to start a race war right before Juneteenth. Was he smart enough to figure it out himself? I think he had handlers. Reverend Childers does, too. That's coming up. Former uh, Governor Jesse Ventura is our guest.
if you just joined us, bombshell after bombshell last hour. The New York Times with 32 other major media companies with literally hundreds if not thousands of subsidiaries between them are joining a lawsuit in appeal in amicus briefs trying to defeat Ventura. And, 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 and asking the court, let us have unjust enrichment off lies. They're saying, we want you to certify we can do this in their briefing. Governor, I know you're about to get back into president and running for president and, and the state of the world, but just briefly on that subject for the media, they're going to want to know. I, I looked around, I tried to go on the law sites and find this filing by them. I know you have a copy. Is there a way you could scan it and uh, email it to us so that we can put it in an article we're writing? Oh, sure. I, I'll take care of that, Alex. I'll get it to you uh, before Monday. Fantastic. Uh, be a problem. And, and let me say this. Let me appeal to your listeners for a minute. This mainstream media, here's the deal, too. They're not talking about this. So what people can do right now, call your mainstream media, whoever it might be, because they're going to fall under these 33. You know they will. And ask why they're not reporting on what they're doing, that they're attempting to overthrow the Jesse Ventura verdict. And why are they not reporting on that? Why are they keeping quiet? Why, when 33 of them are attempting to do it, why is that not news in itself? That's another big piece of news that used to, when a company was being reported on and it owned a media company, they would have to disclose, by the way, that's the parent company of us. Now they don't do that. They're there trying to destroy you. And Fox never mentions, by the way, we own the movie and the book and are making hundreds of millions off this, uh, this Kyle fiction. Yeah, exactly. And the thing, what people can do, ask why they're not reporting this fact that they're attempting to overthrow a federal jury decision. There's your headline. New York Times and others trying to overthrow jury decision that media can be held accountable for lying. That's yeah. sensational news right there. Yep, because that's what they're working to do. That's what this brief is about. 33 of them signed on. It's 45 pages long. And, uh, you know, and they got these top lawyers out there. Who are the lawyers? Uh, Floyd Abrams, Susan Buckley, Miriam McHale, and Cahill Gordon and Rendell LP, 80 Pine Street, New York, New York. So it's the big time New York, New York lawyers coming after little Jesse Ventura in Minneapolis. <laughs> well, they're going to have a big fight on their hand with the Slovak German. <laughs> I tell you, it is just crazy. But listen, at, at a core level, even though you've spent millions and exhausted yourself and all this, doesn't it feel good, though, that you've done the right thing and won the jury trial? Well, Alex, it's always this way. I, I, like I said during uh, when we have discussions of settlement, I said I cannot settle unless I can go home and look at myself in the mirror. And they said, we'll give you money and we won't appeal it. You just got to drop it and, and say we're not liars. No, they, but, no, they haven't even done that. They, they haven't even, I don't want to get in the specifics of it because it's confidential, but they, they haven't even offered me what I've paid lawyer fees. I had gotten confused reading the papers, but they get it so wrong. I had read that, that they'd offered you stuff, but you just had to like not argue the, the, you know, the fact anymore. No, they have no, not at all. They've uh, they've been to tight vested. They haven't. They well, listen, haven't made, they w they've wasted four four or five days of my life on these uh, on these meetings to settle because uh, they're worthless. Sure. They, Let me they, throw they, this to you in closing, and I appreciate your time. We'll talk to you next week, and I want to get behind you because we're all together on this. If you run for president, you'll also be able to make them being liars part of it and use that bully pulpit they can't ignore to further expose them. I think you got to run, and I think you're getting closer to running, aren't you, Jesse? I think you got the fire in the belly. Do you have it? <laughs> Not yet. I got to get this behind me first. All right. Well, I'll try to call and bug you later today or Monday. Let's stay in touch, and let's get you back on, and we'll get the story out. All right, Alex, and thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Hang in there and hi to all your listeners. Andrew thank Jackson, you. what's called St. Place Border Police. The French government two years ago under Nicolas Sarkozy announced their new future plan initiative is to replace all workers with robots and driverless cars. It's the decision to end the world of people. And we start with the black children and the innate underlying racism that was still in some people in the early 1970s to get abortion passed because it was going to be for getting rid of the minorities. And that's what Margaret Sanger set it all up for. And that's what it's always been about. 
And that's why this country is cursed, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't look at children and want to protect them and love them, no matter what color they are, there's something wrong with you fundamentally. And now as a society, we're being aborted. Our future, our culture, our jobs. Old people are put on don't treat list and death list and death panels. It's all admitted. The case for killing granny covered a Newsweek. They didn't brag about it till they got it passed, though. And now the Watson computers from the company that brought you so much of what Hitler did, IBM, are running the actuary to decide who gets health care and who doesn't. And there's don't treat lists for veterans who have operable diseases because the Watson computer says they don't get treatment. The same IBM computers. And then humans don't have to feel bad. The bioethics board doesn't have to feel bad. Why, a computer just said you don't get that knee surgery. You don't get that heart surgery. You don't get that skin cancer removed. Here's some pain pills. Go bomb your brain out of existence. Because under the Bertrand Russell School of Socialism, if you're not contributing, you're obsolete. In fact, at the bottom of the hour, we're going to play uh, the intro of that, as I did a few days ago, with Rod Serling, who was a combat paratrooper going in, battle the balls, whole nine yards, a war hero, great writer. That's why so many of the Twilight Zone episodes are about tyranny and oppression. Because, see, for modern people that haven't been under that much tyranny, we can sit back and make fun of people that are worried about it. But wait till you physically go under it. And when you're begging for help, people are going to say, oh, you deserve it, or you're not human, or you're, you're whatever you are. The first rule of tyranny is that you devalue human life. And what Christ said is, what you do to the least of me, you've done to me. And now they take nine dead people and they humanize them as they should these babies and as, should, and, and as they should these people. I don't care what color they are. And they rub the salt in, though, because they don't normally humanize people. Oh, it's just an old person we killed. Oh, it's just a baby. Oh, it's just, a, oh, it's just 14 people killed a week in Chicago, mainly black, shooting each other. Ignore that. There won't be any speeches about that. What big government did to these people, what it does to anybody that gets under it, they were the beta test. No, it's, oh, it was the whites. They did it. In fact, Salon says whites are going to have to pay for what they've done. Of course, that's a white writer saying that. And, and preachers say we're worried about race war and all the rest of it while the global economy melts down, while the TPP is passed out of the House yesterday. We're all obsessing. And, and, and you know, you have to obsess over it because if you don't counter it, their propaganda will take over. But it turns out the shooter was on an amnesic drug, as I predicted in the first hour, hours before it came out. And it turns out. They're even saying they think he probably had help and advisors. But, but why is there a bigger investigation of that? Obviously, he was wound up. And it's all perfect timing. Here's the headline. Salon. White America must answer for the Charleston Church Massacre. As if... When a white person kills somebody, it's your fault if you're white. Or if a black person commits a crime, all black people are guilty. That's the opposite of what Martin Luther King preached about, and it's the opposite of common sense. I had, like I said in the first hour, groups of white rednecks start fights with me many, many times because they didn't know who I was. They were basically a gang. I've had black people do the same thing, but not because they were black it was because they were in a gang mentality it's the same mentality and they want to put us into that mentality where we don't communicate where we don't come together because then we can be enslaved by this whole global corporate takeover for the rest of the hour from blackgenocide.org is reverend childress one of the most insightful uh, intelligent people i know when it comes to eugenics the history of it the master plan blackgenocide.org incredible videos articles abortion information. He travels the country and his ministry needs to be supported. He's gone to Congress. He's been involved uh, in making films about black genocide that Congress has seen. He's had a huge effect. Clintard Childress really didn't buy any of it yesterday. I was on the fence whether this could be wound up or staged. I couldn't tell, but then he pointed out Juneteenth this weekend. They write, you know, we finish our sermons on Thursday and Friday. The NAACP's coming up. Obama's primed the whole thing. Somebody else is probably behind this.
Bare minimum, this guy was known. Bare minimum, he was in the system. Bare minimum, just like Fast and Furious, they stand to gain. So Reverend Childress joined.